Let's get right to our top story here. Just days before the New Hampshire primary, the Democratic candidates meet for a primetime debate right here on ABC. The two candidates who led the Iowa caucus feeling the heat on the debate stage. Pete Buttigieg facing criticism over his lack of experience, while Bernie Sanders faced concerns about his Democratic socialist label. So many questions coming out of the debate. Who fared best? Who faltered? And will any of this change the fundamental dynamics in this race. We have team coverage this morning, and we start with ABC's Rachel Scott, who's right there in Manchester, New Hampshire, where the debate went down overnight. Rachel, good morning to you. Dan, good morning. With the New Hampshire primary now just days away, this was one of the final opportunities for these candidates to make their pitch. And they came out swinging, piling on the attacks on the two candidates who claimed victory out of Iowa, Mayor Pete Buttigieg and Senator Bernie Sanders. Overnight, Mayor Pete Buttigieg and Senator Bernie Sanders on top and under attack. Taking heat after a strong finish in the Iowa caucuses, both targets debate, on the debate it stage. Real. It is not real, Bernie, because two-thirds of the Democrats in the Senate are not on your bill and because it would kick 149 million Americans off their current health insurance in four years. We need people with experience. That's why I'm worried about Mayor Pete. Buttigieg, who has pitched himself as the newcomer Washington needs, challenged on his experience. His rivals calling his resume thin. We have a newcomer in the White House, and look where it got us. We need a perspective right now that will finally allow us to leave the politics of the past in the past, turn the page, and bring change to Washington before it's too late. Now just three days out from the New Hampshire primary, a trailing Joe Biden already bracing for another gut punch. I took a hit in Iowa. And I'll probably take it here. The former VP still insisting some of his rivals are too much of a risk. A fiery clash over electability and concern over the future of the party. Uh, Bernie's labeled himself, not me, a democratic socialist. I think that's the label that the president's going to lay on everyone running with Bernie if he's a nominee. Let me just ask, is anyone else on the stage concerned about having a democratic socialist at the top of the democratic ticket? I'm not. <laughs> Senator Klobuchar? So um, I Bernie and I work together all the time, uh, but I think uh, we are not going to be able to outdivide the divider in chief. Um, and I think we need someone to head up this ticket that actually brings people with her instead of shutting them out. Sanders also on defense about his signature health care plan. How much is it going to cost? Who's going to pay for it? It will cost more than the entire, the entire federal budget we spend now. If we do what Joe wants, will be spending some $50 trillion on health care over the next 10 years. What Medicare for All will do is save the average American substantial sums of money. The conversation turning to race 90 minutes in. We have not said one word tonight about race. Not one word. Are you kidding me? Buttigieg, who has struggled to attract support among black voters, right, pressed on his record. How do you explain the increase in black arrests in South Bend under your leadership for marijuana possession? And again, the overall rate was lower. No, there was the an increase. Rate. The year before you were in office, it was lower. We adopted a strategy that said that drug enforcement would be targeted in cases where there was a connection to the most violent group or gang connected to a murder. These things are all connected, but that's the point. So are all of the things that need to change in order for us to prevent violence and remove the effects of systemic racism. Senator Warren, is that a substantial answer from Mayor Buttigieg? No. The debate, a bookend to a critical week. We watched on Wednesday as Republicans, all but one, locked arms to protect him from impeachment. President Trump acquitted in the Senate, the impeachment trial closing as the 2020 campaign now kicks into high gear. We move the country forward. We don't focus on the mistakes of the leaders that are leaving office. And the candidates also going after a Democrat who was not on that stage, billionaire Michael Bloomberg. The former New York City mayor is not campaigning in the state, but could possibly qualify for the Nevada debate later this month, Dan. Not over on the stage, but looming over the race in many ways. Rachel, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.